M0FXP, welcome to my channel. Playing around with this new IP sort of function that we've got with firmware 1.32. So first thing you connect to the internet. So go menu, set, wireless LAN, tap and it turns on your internet. And you don't actually see anything happen, but it, it doesn't even make a noise, but it will become on. Connection type station, okay. Then go down to connection settings and then choose access point. And then it will find the different internets. Hit the one you want to connect, put the password in and you're connected. When you're connected, you'll see this little Wi-Fi emblem here. So what have we done regarding the new IP function? Well, at the bottom, I'm just connected to my normal hotspot in the normal way. Okay, I've got a queue because I've got two hotspots, but it's just my normal jumbo hotspot. We're not going via a repeater. And at the top here, now the reason I've selected AA1HDB, now remember to make this monitor function work, you have to go menu, set. You've got this new window called DV repeater. Okay, now yours, if I push it, will say not use. So all you do is, uh, in my previous video, is go to ICOM and download the repeater monitor IP list, okay? And it put it out into your SD card. And if you're in your SD card, there is a file called repeater monitor. Put that Excel list into that monitor so that when you come to menu, set, DV repeater, you will have this option, repeater monitor sample. Now they've called it that, that's, that's the name of the file. Okay, and you just select that instead of not use. You can select not use, but that's for different functions. Okay, so then we've done that. So the next thing we do is push the multi knob. And look, we've got a new window here, repeater monitor, and it says on, and it actually shows I'm connected to AA1HDB, which is a repeater. I know it's a bad picture, but if you look here, dstar.org, look, it's a proper icon repeater. So aa one HD Vernon state in the USA okay and there's a website for it and everything okay so it's these are the kind of repeaters we need when we're using IP addresses so you'll find whilst we're connected I am receiving traffic I haven't spoke to anyone yet I thought I'd do a live test but what I want to show you is that if we move away now we've got the two section at the top and the from so the from section is is just my hotspot okay I could try a repeat I'll try that in a separate video so the idea is repeater to repeater. Now, remember, um, this connection supposedly is relying on an IP address. But I am still doing RF between me, the place, my hotspot, and, and me, if I talk. So what I was hoping for was that we could do something without even having to use a hotspot. I know we can use a repeater. But anyway, if I move away, see we've selected Vern. If we tap it. Right now, we, if I turn my VFO knob here, I can move away from it. Now, if I move away and the repeater isn't a proper sort of ICOM IP repeater, let's try and get this zoomed in nice, then it, you lose the word monitor. Look, if I go forward, it goes monitor, and then if it links, it goes white. And if it goes white, on, look, it shows it here. So let's, if I go to another repeater, It will tell you if it can't link. It will say, can't link. There you are, fail to connect. Okay, if I go forward one, W1 BCG there, it doesn't even show the word money. You can scroll through, and there's one there called Moni, with money. And it will say fail, or, or it will connect. Fail, okay, close. If I go back to A, the one that did work, which was that one, AA1HD. No, we've lost it now. But it, it did go white. See, it's, it's failing now. Let's go to C, see if that one connects. No. Nope.
it goes white. We want it to stay white, I think. And then look, then you've got the on. You can turn that on and off just by tapping it. So let's try and get a contact. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo. Calling for a audio test and contact test. M0 FXB, Southwest UK. Well, I have heard some stations come through. And I'll just show you what the dashboard says on my Pi Star as well. And then we'll, we'll post the video and uh, let me know how you get on with this. Because the idea of these IP is not just, you're not just able to use it in this, in this mode. You've got access mode, terminal mode. Terminal mode is the one that you probably could do it with. There's some people that, terminal mode is the one you could probably do it without the hotspot. I just don't know how to do that. So, Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo, M0 FXB, is anyone hearing me? Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo. See if anyone comes back. I don't think they're hearing me. Mike, it is called money, you know? Maybe it's monitor only. Monitoring the repeater. Let's go, let's go to terminal mode, go menu, to DV gateway, terminal mode. Okay, still connected to that same repeater. We haven't changed that. M0 FXB, M0 FXB. I think if it, were, if it was connected in gateway mode, you'd have a little gateway cloud up here. So I just think we're chucking stones into the river at the moment. <laughs> Basically, we don't know what we're doing. You probably have to set an IP address and things like that. You just tap it. Direct input. Yeah, it's here you can put in these. They're like IP addresses, aren't they? Local. That's just the usual. Okay, well, I just I, I thought, I'd, as I learn, you call out again. M0 FXB, M0 FXB, calling for a contact. I mean, it's possible that I, I have to change the other one into CQ, CQ, but I don't think so. I think you need the repeater there. So bye for now, 7-3, all the best. Cheers.